Okay, this is a tutorial on C programming. It's a series I'm going to try to keep each video as short as possible, so let's get straight to it. I am running on a Debian system, but uh, whatever distro you're using, use your package manager. The only package you should have to install for most of these tutorials is we're using GCC as our compile, so sudo apt install GCC or whatever you use as your package manager. I already have that installed, so I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but use whatever text editor you like, and I'm going to create a um, file called hello.c and we're going to do our first little hello world so in here I am going to do my first line I'm going to say pound include and then space and inside these uh, greater than less than symbols I'm going to say stdio standard in out uh, header and that's going to give you all your basic little commands now we need our main function your main function is going to be the function that runs in first in your C program. And then if you have other functions, it will usually be called by main or one of those sub functions. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say int for integer. A uh, function, it's going to return something. It's going to return either a zero or one, whether it failed or was successful. We're hopefully only going to be successful because all we're going to do is say uh, print f. And in parentheses here, and we're going to end each command with a semicolon in quotations, we're going to say, hello world. Now, uh, then we want to return zero, meaning success. It made it to this part. It's successful. Now, I did not put a new line character at the end of this, and printf does not. So what does that mean? So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to use GCC to compile this. So GCC, the name of my C file, dash O for output, and we'll call our executable hello. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll want to do hello.exe. So we'll do that, and I forgot to put a semicolon at the end of this command here. Now we should be able to compile that, and I should be able to dot slash, dot slash on a Linux or Unix based or Unix like system just means it's a command in this directory. So we're saying dot slash this hello. So if there's a hello somewhere else in your system, it's not looking for that, it's going to run this one. I'm going to run that, and it says hello world. Now you see this little percent sign? Uh, in my particular shell, that's what's showing there was no new line character. What does that mean? So I'm going to go back in here. If I copy this command, so now it should say hello world and then hello world. I'll save that, run our GCC command again. It will override without any prompting, so make sure you want to override your executable. I'll do dot slash hello again, and you can see it said hello world, hello world without any new lines. So if you want to have a new line character at the end of your um, text, which I would say most of the time you probably do, you want to use backslash n for new line character. So I'll add that and I will now say gcc hello.c dash o for output, our hello, so I'm recompiling it, and dot slash hello, and you can see now it's on a new line a new line and then create a new line before doing my prompt again so we don't have that little percent symbol. Depending on your shell, you'll either get something like this or this prompt right here will actually be up here. So you want that new line character in many cases. But it all depends on your code. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And if you go to gitlab.com forward slash melex1000 forward slash my bin with a capital M and a capital B. Here's a bunch of just sample code, just random little scripts I've written. And in this uh, project, there's a C folder. Click on that, and there's one called Tutorials. You click on that, and it will have all the uh, ones we're going through. So you can download this package, this project, and this hello command here is basically what we just did. So you can download those. There's a uh, compile all that sh here that just loops through them and compiles them into this bin folder here. So we'll have the executable 2, obviously compiled for my architecture and operating system. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to have a look at these codes, this is the stuff we're going to be going through, and there's actually going to be more. I just got ahead and made sure I knew what I was doing before I, I got to those. So thank you for watching, and again, check out the link in the description for this page and my website, filmsbychris.com. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.